girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, what a month this has been! The month of July! What have you done to us? What have you absolutely done to us? We've had rainstorms, we've had extreme heat waves, record breaking heats within UK. What is going on? What is going on? I think I've probably done majority of my videos this month makeup free so of course here we are again makeup free hair up pj's on i've only got the lights on slightly so sorry if it's a little dull because it's still quite hot it's been a little bit um calmer this week let's say with the old temperatures but it's still warm still way too warm to have the lights fully on so they're just like a little dim lit at the moment but it's better than having nothing on I feel this month has been very flustered, has been very erratic, has just been very chaotic. I really do. I feel like time has gone thoop, and here we are at the end of July, which may I add the end of July, July the 31st is Mama G's birthday. So best believe the first week of August you're gonna have a nice vlog of me and mum. You might even see Dada and we will be celebrating her birthday all through the weekend. She's gonna have a whole weekend just for her. Even though her birthday is not until the Sunday, me and her will be starting the celebrations early on the Saturday. So that is actually gonna be interesting because so if you're watching this you'll be watching this saturday um today me and mum are going to the greek restaurant that i've had my eye on in all gate east a little bit of a nightmare because there's train strikes so i need to figure out how to get to the tube if our train is on strike so i need to sort that out um we are going to be having a few little drinky poos let's just say and then when we come back i've actually got to film a video with mum that is going to be sunday's upload it could end up being a tipsy version of a video that you all seem to love. We don't quite know how it's going to go to plan just yet. But um, yeah, I'm also off Monday. So we're doing something actually really cute on Monday. And I'm going to go and get the barnet topped up. So we're just going to have like a spend the day with us. So there'll be an extra vlog in August. And then what else have we got? August is Beauty and the Beast. We're seeing that the first Saturday of August. So August you're going to have quite a few vlogs. So I hope you like that. Um, if you don't, sorry, because I still like making them anyway. But Shannon Lee, we are digressing. The month of July. I have a feeling this could potentially be a long one. So I'm going to say get comfy, my lovelies. Get a, a little snack. Get a cold refreshment if it is still heatwave weather. And let's get in with July's monthly favourites. Because there is quite a few, let me just say. <laughs> right, before we get started... You're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, you're saying it's hot. Is that candles I see burning behind you? Yes. My lovelies, even in a heat wave, your girl still has her candles on, okay? I can't help it. I just like, I like the ambiance. And that's what I've tried to do this month. I have actually lit quite a lot of candles this month. Not any to show you, because there was a majority of tea lights. That's like the last little bit of my watermelon candle. Um, But... I, where I feel this month has been so chaotic and like with the heat wave and everything I just needed to feel like when I come home this was my chill zone like switch off read edit relax and that is what I tried to do you might hear a few noises throughout this video you'll probably hear mama g coming back in because we'll have the front door swinging open you might hear a bit of banging upstairs you'll probably hear the washing machine upstairs because I mean who doesn't love to hear a vibrating washing machine at half seven on a Friday night not me that's for sure anyway my lovelies I am rabbiting what am I gonna start right I'm actually gonna start with the book this month okay I'm gonna start with the book because my lovelies if you've been watching any of my recent vlogs, you will know that I've not stopped talking about this, okay? This, would I go as far to say it's the best book I've read so far this year? I still love the first one that I read, The True Story. This is up there. I'm going to say this is joint first. And it's by an author I've never heard of. I think I picked this up a few months back in Tesco. Just looking through, it was on special, I think it's down to like seven or eight quid. I was like, oh, small town, shocking crime, 12 secrets, get in the basket. Oh my God, could not put this down. 
I'm telling you, I was up on my days that I weren't at the gym. I was still up at 4am reading this. Still up at 4am on the last day. I think I finished this about a week ago. So you go read a book in three weeks, okay? Um, Woohoo! I read about 12 or 13 chapters to finish it off on that morning I woke up and I couldn't put it down. The only bummer is the second book to this is not out until April 2023. So maybe I should have held off reading this because now I just want the next book to be out. But anyway, my lovelies, should we have a little bit of a blurb with Shan? Should we read the blurb? Ben Harper's life changed forever the day his older brother Nick was murdered by two classmates. It was a crime that shocked the nation and catapulted Ben's family and their idyllic hometown Hadley into the spotlight. 20 years on, Ben is one of the best investigative journalists. I think that's right, investigative you know what I mean, um, in the country and settled back in Hadley thanks to the support of its close-knit community. But then a fresh murder case shines new light on his brother's death and throws suspicion on those closest to him. Ben is about to discover that in Hadley no one is as they seem. Everyone has something to hide and someone will do anything to keep the truth buried. Now my lovelies, I am telling you okay, we had chapters we had a good size font, nothing too big, nothing too small. How many chapters were there? 83. 12 Secrets is a perfect title because it leaves you guessing. You think that you will know something and then bam, another shot comes. Bam, another twist. Like, I was, them last 12 chapters, I was not screaming, but you know when you're reading it and I'm like, Oh my god, no, what, and that is what I love in a book, I don't feel, the last one was good, the hiking one, but I don't feel like I've been gripped by a book something like this for a while, and I was just like, I could not put it down, and that's why I would come in, I would light my candles, if I'd had a rubbish day at work, I would just pick up my book, even if it was only like two or three chapters of an evening, it helped me sleep, it zonked me out, and I would, I would highly recommend this, I tell you what, screenshot this my lovelies, 12 Secrets, you can get it Tesco, I think you get it on Amazon, I think you get it on a Kindle version if you don't want the book. Highly, highly recommend the book this month, 10 out of 10. I think next month, because next month's going to be quite hectic, I think. I want to maybe, because all of the books that I've got are quite dark. They're quite dark, they're more like autumnal books. So I think I might try to read, if you saw the when we went to the Tiffany exhibition, um, let's go to Tiffany & Co's 185 year exhibition vlog, a few videos before this, I picked up the Breakfast at Tiffany's book, I think I might read that next month, alongside potentially my Crystals book, because I really want to, I've been saying that all year I want to get into the Crystals, and I just haven't had time, so I think August, I kind of want to have a cleanse, have a cleanse of the summer, have a cleanse of the heat, and welcome autumnal content, thick and fast, can you believe, right, we've got one more month of what I would call normal content before the autumnal content starts, and after September, I'm on holiday. That makes me so excited but so nervous like I'm going to poop my pants at the same time. That's coming around quick, isn't it? That is coming around quick. Ah! Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Right, what I do know I need to do is download some shizzle for the plane. So, we have our top four programs, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Discovery+, Plus, and good old YouTube. Let's start off with Netflix. Now, I haven't really watched much because, as I say, my time has been spent elsewhere. I'm doing a few classes after work now at the gym, um, trying to read. Well, I was reading, reading away to my heart's content, editing. Just wasn't a lot of time to be sitting down and just chilling. So the things that I've watched have kind of been short series or eight to ten episodes where they're only like half an hour to 40 minutes each. I shall start, however, with what kicked off July. Stranger Things. Oh my god. I was a whole mixture of emotions watching those last episodes. 
One minute I was happy, then I was screaming, then I was crying, then I was pure hysterical, then I was angry. It was just, wow, what a whirlwind. If you have seen the whole end of, I think it was season four, wasn't it? Of Stranger Things. Now, I thought that was the last season. So when it ended, I was like, huh? No, 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 you can't tell me I've waited all this time for it to end like that. And then I read that actually it's not. There's going to be another season, which will be the final season. But that's not going to be out for like a year or two. I think it said 2024. So yeah, like almost two years. I was just like, oh, I don't know if I can wait that long. The emotional tension. There was a scene where, I'm not going to say, but if you've watched it, there was a very heart-to-heart -heart scene of two male characters and oh my god did I ball my eyes out. I was like a baby girl watching that. It broke my heart. But I love Steve. Oh my god, Steve is just fantastic. He has become like such a main character this season and I'm here for it. He's so funny. He's so witty. I really want him to end up with Nancy, as horrible as that sounds, because I know she's with Johnny, but oh this is the world of stranger things if you don't watch it you're probably sitting there thinking what on earth is she going on about but yeah i don't want to say too much but i'm super excited for the last season i did watch something i believe it was only one or two episodes and i think there was about an hour each roughly and it was called girl in the picture now if you've watched that how 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 messed up was that that was strange on a whole nother level, like calculated, coercive, downright weird and sadistic. But yeah, I was just like, ah! It was kind of like a real life version of kind of the book. There was like, at every turn, there was new information. There was something different. There was someone else coming out the woodwork. And you're just like, how? Very, very good watch. If you're into like, crime docuseries and everything like that netflix actually do have quite a lot where maybe there'll be two to four episodes um i remember one the miami killer i think it was called and they're like short and snappy i like stuff like that i can't be dealing when they're like four or five seasons i still haven't watched a proper long season since prison break because i think that scarred me five seasons i watched religiously back to back and now i just don't know if i can invest my time into five seasons back to back so i like one or two but apart from that I've, i'm kind of afraid of long seasons i'm not gonna lie um there is one that i believe is coming out or it might have just come out on netflix which i will be watching in august so watch out for me review then the most hated man on the internet if you've seen the trailer you know what it's about and i cannot wait to watch that because i hope he gets his comeuppance i really really do hope he gets his comeuppance but anyway that will be in August one, my lovelies. Right, I watched this and this has kind of been like mm, my rom-com of the month. And it's a little series called Love Life. Ten episodes, about half an hour per episode. And it has the main lady from Pitch Perfect. Never can remember it. Anna? Anna someone? Oopsie. And basically, it's the story of this woman's life. Her trials and tribulations are going through the world of love. And there were some episodes where I was sitting there in tears, I'm not going to lie, feeling sorry for myself. And then there were some episodes when I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you allowing yourself to be treated like that? It was such, it was actually a really good series. It, again, it was a whole mixture of emotions, an emotional roller coaster. But I like stuff like that. Helps you like get your vent in there and then you can compose yourself and I think it's a lot cheaper than like therapy sometimes ain't it just sit indoors and have a good cry I mean don't take my advice therapy is great but it is a bit costly ain't it and I think with everything going up in the world I like to find my own ways to self-therapize myself is that even a word self-therapize who on earth do I think I am eh but yeah if you want something that's like a rom-com it's funny it's light-hearted definitely check out love life Another one, which I probably, I don't know if it's going to be out Halloween, that's why I didn't watch it, but it was called Boo Bitch, and it was the lady from 
P.S. I love you. No, to all the boys I've loved before. You know when she writes the letters, it had that lady in there. And I don't want to give too much away because it is a really good storyline. But it was just about, again, learning to live and learning to take chances and be remembered, like make a life to create. And again, that was emotional roller coaster. One minute I was absolutely sobbing and then I was happy. And then I'm like, what are you doing? Go for it. Like live your life. Highly recommend that one as well, my lovelies. Now, right. This, I just could not believe in the slightest. And I had to do a little bit of research after because I was just like, how did this even happen? There's a four-part series on Netflix with James Nesbitt and it's called The Secret. Now, it's based on a true story of a husband and he started an affair, an illicit affair. They were both Christians, I believe, or Catholics. I can't remember. I know they were of religious beliefs and they were both married. So it was adultery within their God's eyes that they was having this affair. And he kind of come up with an idea. It wouldn't be adultery if they didn't have partners they were married to. And this shocked me. This was in Ireland, I believe. And when it came up, it was a true story. I was like, oh, okay, watch it. And I was like, wow. The lengths that some people would go to do things for what he called love. I don't know if you'd call that love. Um, it was very calculated. It seemed like he knew exactly what he was doing. And yeah, if you've watched that or you know the story... Let me know because I just, I couldn't fathom, like, how? And there was never anything there to catch him. It was only through the fact that he self-admitted what he'd done, which obviously then the repercussions for him and the ex-mistress because they didn't end up staying together, which to me, I thought, what was that point? You'd done all of that and then you didn't even fully stay together. That was really good. That was... I'm going to say about 45 minutes an episode, and there were four of them. So that was a good, like, Friday night binge for me. And another one was The Holiday with a Jill Halfpenny. Now, a lot of you recommended me this, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. Wow. Did not disappoint. Again, very much a series that you thought one thing, then it changed, then it was the next one. Oh. Someone's having a rave outside. Oh my goodness. Is there children screaming? That's like going to deafen the child's ears. I think it's my lovely neighbour next door. You know the one who tells me I can't park in a space that I've been parking for 10 years? I think it's them. Just wake the whole street up. I like call to say, honestly, my lovelies, my street, I could... Imagine if I'd done a documentary on my street. Imagine if I'd done a documentary on my street. I think it'd be worse than EastEnders. All happens down my street, I'll tell you. Anyway, so, the holiday. So many, like, twists, turns, and again, the ending. I didn't see the ending coming, and I was like, what? So that was a very good recommendation from you all, my lovelies. So thank you very much indeed. However, I haven't really been watching much on the other front. So, Discovery Plus, I'm still continuing my ghost adventures because that is like nine, ten seasons. So, I'm going to be continuing with that for a long, long time, let me tell you that. However, I have started a new one called Signs of a Psychopath. And safe to say, is it weird that I resonate with some of the signs? Like, I'm watching it and I totally get where they're coming from. And I watched an episode with mum and I started to laugh. And mum, like, looked at me like, you are right? What are you laughing for? And I was just like, I get it. I get why these people snap. I think it is in everyone to just have that blackout moment, switch, flip. But it's knowing what level to get to or what's going to take you there where all forms of normality and what is right and wrong completely go and you are just determined to do whatever it is you're going to do and yeah I, I find it so interesting we all know I love um well I say I love my dream job would have been to be blah, 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 blah. my dream job would have been to be an embalmer because I love anything to do with 
I'm not going to say death because my biggest fear is death, but I find it helps me with my death anxiety and like knowing what happens. But I love everything like forensics and crime scenes. Like I remember being, I'm going to say like nine or ten maybe, and going on Google, or was it um, Ask Jeeves? Who remembers Ask Jeeves? And I was trying to find the real crime scene photos from the Essex Boys murders. Like, what child does that? Especially a girl. Like, when I went in and told my friends, they're like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, oh, my God. And I found them, and I saved them all. And I'm sure I've got them on a hard drive somewhere. And I remember one, there was a video of one of the guys who'd been shot, and, like, his eye, it's probably going to be really graphic, but his eye socket had almost come out. And I was just like, whoa. Like, I've always had a fascination with the body, like, more internally for what we can't see. And, yeah. So, Signs of a Psychopath, I would highly recommend. Um, I actually started to watch that just to help me fall asleep, which is probably a warning sign to a lot of people, and people probably think you're absolutely delusional. But, whatever it takes to soothe you off to Kip, eh? And then, my lovelies, again, <laughs> Disney Plus, right? Now, I don't know, I thought Disney Plus was literally just Disney movies and Disney show series and, like, Hannah Montana, all of that stuff. There is a few dark stuff on Disney. Let me tell you that. Oh, also, is Grey's Anatomy worth the watch? Again, something else I see a lot of on Disney Plus, but it's, like, nine seasons. Am I going to be committed enough to watch all of that? But please do let me know if it is worth anything to watch because I'm still half and half. There was a season... Season? series it was only two episodes and it's called keeper of the ashes the oklahoma girl scout murders again true story um three girls were murdered on a scouting trip and yeah very very raw and one of the main ladies that they spoke to i can't remember her name but i know i've seen her in like same comedies and chick flicks and that and she said how she was supposed to have been on this trip, but she didn't go. And unfortunately, it was just, it was horrible. I mean, children. I understand, well, I don't understand, but like, murders of adults, for example. But children, they was like, I think, five, six, and seven. Some of them had been sexually assaulted as well, which was a bit, mm -mm. I don't like stuff like that. Um, I had a comment the other day and someone was like, how can you, like, get sad when children are hurt or something when you're not maternal? And I was like, I still have a heart, you know? <laughs> like, um, I am not maternal. Like, I'm great with other people's babies, I like to think. But it doesn't mean that I want my own yet. Um, as I said, it would be very later on in life, if ever. It's just something that, I don't want to think about it at the moment. It would be, if it happens, it happens. And if not, if not. Like, I'm not going to stress my life or worry about it. Because to me, that is not the be-all and end-all of life. Some people can't wait to be parents. And some people, that is that everything. Like, mum, all she wanted to be was a mum. And with me, I'm just kind of like, I just want to travel at the minute. I just want to be free. And I think with everything that's been going on in the world and with C... We, we couldn't do anything. We was trapped. And now I'm just like, unclip my wings and let me be free. And who knows what's going to happen, eh? Who knows? Life is a roller coaster, as they say. So, yeah, um, it's just... You can have feelings but not be maternal. By not being maternal doesn't mean that you don't like children or you're like, no feelings. It just means you have feelings for children in a different way. Like... I was at Tesco's the other day and oh my god I saw the cutest little baby boy and I was like oh and the lad at work I was with because we'd gone over to get lunch he was like and you're telling me you're not broody like he always talks about his kids and I'm like oh look at their photos and I'm like that's so cute and they're a little bit older and I was like no I was like what is it I was like I can look at baby and like oh that's a cute baby but it doesn't mean I want one yet he was like, okay. And then when we was out the other day, I saw this little girl. And oh my God, she must have been about like two years old. She had little blonde pigtails. And I was like, she just reminded me of me. I was like, like a little mini me. And I was like, oh my God. And he's like, not getting broody. No, I was like, no. I was like, she's like a mini me. And he was like, heaven forbid if you ever had a mini you, right? Eh? Heaven forbid indeed. But my lovelies, I've been watching a bit of YouTube. 
YouTube, I've been going on a lot of workout videos. Chloe Ting and a recent channel I found, Mad Fit, because I'm going to start to try and do a little bit of exercise at home a lot more, trying to do some more home workouts. So I've been enjoying them. I will leave both of their channels actually linked down below. Chloe Ting, you know, I tried her workout many moons ago, but Mad Fit is actually quite quite an unusual one but i like her style she does a lot of ones that you don't have to have equipment which is fabulous so you can literally do it in the comfort of your own home and then of course the one and only mr rafe charles need i say any more if you have not been over to his channel i will leave it down below um i speak about him every month because every month i do not miss his videos and congrats he has had his first collab with cherries and now we all know who doesn't love cherries, eh? Who doesn't love an online bargain shop haul? He has had his first collaboration. So, so proud of him. And yeah, I absolutely love his content. He's got vlogs. He does like walk through city videos. He has his Budapest vlog. So if you want any travel vlogs, he has his hauls. He has his day in his life. He has everything. And he says that he's been doing his autumnal and Christmas intros and outros. I, for one, you are more prepared for me because I haven't even started that yet. But I cannot wait to see that. And... I want him to hit his next YouTuber subscriber milestone before the end of the year. So as I say, if you haven't already followed him, I will leave his channel down below. And of course, to Ben and the cats, much love to you all. But my lovelies, I'm going to go and quickly get a drink. Canon is flashing at me. I've only just changed the blooming battery. And let's get back to stuff that I can show you. Right. I'm going to start with a little bit of food and drink because <laughs> I haven't really been snacking this much Um this month because we've had a few hello fresh so my food has pretty much been hello fresh if you haven't seen the vlogs check out the uh, do you love food like me playlist they're all in there but i have kind of been having minimal breakfast and lunch because i've been savoring myself for the hello fresh however there are a few little things that i've been um partial to let's just say right i am blooming addicted to these drinks from Holland and Barrett. They are sparkling spring water. They're by the brand Cano Water, which it's a can of water. Okay, we all know, Canon, how much I find this stuff fascinating. I don't think I can open it because last time I needed a knife to open it. But can I do it with a pen? Oh my goodness, we've done it with a pen. These drinks, my lovelies, I got two steel and two sparkling. And we all know I just love waters in a can. Like, who remembers the home bargains one? Flavita. I can't get Flavita for love nor money. What has happened to Flavita? But these, I think I bought two of each originally. And then I sent mum down. And I was like, please just stock up. And she got me about five of each. I love sparkling water. Mm. it's gonna be a uh, love or deny love or deny love or hate but i absolutely love a bit of sparkling water i've also been loving the brand dash i first picked them up when i was in home sense or tk maxx a few months back a few months probably like last year shannon lee and i saw them again in holland and barrett so i was like snapping them up you know now <laughs> i had all intentions of showing you a full pack but in the process of me getting the bits out ready for this video, I somehow opened and ate the whole pack. But I still kept the packaging for you. These are from Lidl and they're by the brand Birchwood Deli Choice. Now it's normally a pack of two and they are thick cut chicken breasts. I get mine in the herb crust. You can get them plain and I think like spicy. Now a twin pack, they have 39 calories per one pack. So it's like 80 calories for both. But it's the protein for me. So per pack is seven and a half grams of protein. Oh no, actually it's 15 grams of protein. So two of these is like under 80 calories and 30 grams of protein. If you go in your Lidl and see this screenshot, my lovelies, pick them up. As I say, you can get them plain or you can also get them. I'm sure it's like with a spicy Cajun-y style like outside. Pick them up. Two for 150, I'm gonna say. You, you will not be wrong. You will not be wrong, you will not go wrong. Just thank me later, all right? And then I have been having a bit of a sweet tooth, especially with Mother Nature. 
this month has been sweet central and it's been trying to find stuff oh flashing away oh that's my phone sorry about that my lovelies um it is hard to find something sweet that is not calorific because we all know cakes everything is calorific however i do love a good skittle but i'm going to cause a bit of controversy i think here did i or did i not i'm sure i did read something that skittles have been deemed not edible or like not fit for consumption i'm telling you now if if they're gonna remove skittles from the aisles there is gonna be a rainbow of protests okay i want to taste the rainbow i don't care if they're not good for me i want to taste the rainbow okay you cannot keep making these changes just because they might have a few artificial colorings in okay if you're eating them every day i totally understand but when people literally just want a treat and these are the giants ones these are like three times bigger absolutely fabulous actually let's open them now let's open them now look share the rainbow taste the rainbow i'm not going to be able to soon because i think they're going to want to stop you i mean look how big they are they remind me of like a big m m yum 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 so that's when i've been having a uh, sweet treat i have also been going through i haven't got any packets to show you chew it's been going through an obscene amount of chew it's lately i don't know why however this can tie in we'll go on to the gym bits next but this is going to be food and drink and gym i've spoke about these before if you go to lidl again you need to stock up on these they do these in yogurts which I'm not going to lie, I've kind of gone off my yogurts at the minute. They do blueberry flavour, strawberry, peach and mango, and a raspberry, I'm going to say. But I've kind of gone off of them. I am just really loving the puddings at the moment. So these are the high protein puddings. Again, 20 grams of protein per pot. They only do them in two flavours. They do them in vanilla and vanilla, <laughs> vanilla and chocolate. Oh my god, this is like pure thick ambrosia custard and the chocolate one, I describe it almost like an aero mousse yogurt if you remember them, very much like that. Do not knock it, if you are someone like me who can literally sit and eat custard out of a jar or a tub or a little carton, I love anything custardy. Without the calories, without like just the slouchy, ugh. You don't feel sluggish after them. You really don't. And I have them like topped with fruit. I mix them in with my oats. I just love them. And I do stock up like normally, I'm going to say three or four pots at a time of each flavour. So like we have a good six to eight sometimes in the fridge. But I'll have one a day. These are what I am having daily. So yes, I will probably end up looking like a high protein pudding soon. But it's all good for those gains. I mean, I have no muscles. Look. Bingo wing, she's still there, but she's getting a little bit firmer. Kind of shrinking, but she's still there, she's still there. Right. I've got a couple of water bottles this month, but this is the one that I've been loving for the gym. This is the one I picked up from Home Bargains, I believe, this month. Just with the little bees on, but it's got the straw already in. I just find it so handy to chuck it in. I haven't got faff around, like, undoing it all and everything like that. I literally just flick it up. <sighs> Have me drink, pop it down, no leakages, anything like that. I think this was like $1.99. If I see another one in Home Bargains, I need to pick it up. Because this one, I mean, what do you expect for two quid? But I think when mum's been washing it, she starts to like scratch all me gold off of it. She's ruining me bottle, bless her. Be like, mama G, excuse me. And then the other bottle that I've been loving, this is what I've been having at work. I picked this up from Asda a while back. Still got the label on it, but it's H2O and the O is a booby. But it was for Tickled Pink. It was one of their charity bottles. I think I got this last year sometime, probably in a uh, Asda haul. And again, this is the one where you have to unscrew. So this is more of like my work bottle that I have. Fit it up. Also, it's a good size top. Um, You can get quarters of lemons in here. I have really been loving at the moment lemon water and like lemon and cucumber. I've tried lemon and mint. And then of course, if you saw the 12 week fitness vlog, I tried lemon water and chia seeds. That experience um was just 
was just not a vibe. It just was not a bit of me. Um, the footage of that was absolutely hilarious. So I would say if you would like a laugh, head over to the Time to Get In Shape playlist and watch me absolutely hate my life trying the uh, internal flush. I think that's what it was called on TikTok because I was not a fan of that, my lovelies. I was not a fan. Right. Sticking with the gym side. Oh, I do not want my... Uh, bubble bath to be falling over if you saw what that was in the bottom there please do not judge me okay we'll come to that later right i think i showed these last month i'm going to show them again because i'm working my way through these this she says as she drops it blooming fantastic shannon lee as I was saying before I very clumsily dropped it on my foot, this is my go-to combination for the gym. All right, I need to try Mitchum. I know a lot of you have said that, but for me at the moment, I love the smell of these. I have the Lynx 48 Hours Anti-Sweat, two times faster drying roll-on, and then I have the Lynx Epic Fresh 72 Hours Anti-Sweat with Pro Scent Technology, and it's kind of like a lime and lemon, very like fresh scent. These two, I'm telling you, I can be doing the most intense workout and I will not smell. Which is fabulous because I am a little bit of a sweaty Betty, which as I say is why a lot of you have recommended Mitchum. I do need to be doing a super drug and boots order soon. So I'm going to see if I can pick some up in there because I've got to start the process of buying bits for the holiday. Like the suntan lotion and everything like that. Don't want to leave it too late in case it all goes out of stock everywhere. But yeah, so there may be a little bit of a... Not drugstore, because we don't call them drugstores, that's American. I might do like a Boots and Super Drug combined video if I don't get enough from them for like separate videos. But we'll see nearer the time, my lovelies. And then, some other, not snacks, but drinks. These are a lifesaver, okay? Um, Especially when I'm on Mother Nature and I'm working out, I feel so weak. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Because you feel like you just go 10 steps back. And I get so angry at myself that I try and push myself harder than what I could do normally. But I can't even do the normal stuff. So why am I pushing myself harder? It doesn't make any sense. And I'm probably very much going to injure myself soon. Which I don't really want. So I need to take it easy. These I pick up from Boost. They are in the Juicy Raspberry flavour by the brand Lift. And they are just fast acting glucose chews. I get the berry flavour, but you can also get them in an orange flavour. They're literally just little discs. I'm not going to open this because this is a new pack. I've got one left in my um, gym bag. They're just glucose tablets. Get them out, crack them on your tongue. You can either just like suck them or I do crunch them with water and then get it in your system. Because especially doing classes on Mother Nature, it's hard. And I find that because we're doing like a lot of HIIT workouts, like... We're lifting, then we're running, then we're squatting, and everything like that. Like, last time, I did get quite lightheaded, but thank goodness I had them in my bag. Thank goodness I had them. And then I done, not a huge order, not enough for a haul, but I just done a few little top-ups for my protein. And I bought some sachets. Well, actually, I bought quite a lot of sachets. And this is the one that I've been absolutely loving. And I think I've only got one left after this, so might have to do another one. And it is the orange mango flavour. So we all know that I have the clear whey isolate this is it. I don't have ones that you put with milk because I find the feeling of the milk ones, like I'm not really about milkshakes, you know. So I like that because it's almost just like having a flavoured juice. I've gone through watermelon and I'm almost at the end of peach tea. They last so long, so long, my lovelies. Refreshment break there. And then a little bar I've picked up. I've actually been really enjoying these. I'll probably say... Not on normal workouts, but again, when it's around time of the month, these are great. Chocolate peanut butter. Now, I don't like peanut butter, do I? But I like these. 10 grams of protein in this little one. PhD Smart. I'm sure I picked these up from B&M. And I think they're about a pound each. Mum also loves those. So we kind of have been fighting over them for the past last week. Because I'm like, oh, I just want some chocolate with protein. Let me have it. She's like, okay. I'm like, thank you. Hey, thank you. 
And then two essentials that I could not have lived without this month. My little seat cover for spin class, okay? And let me tell you, even this cushion, okay, does not stop me waddling the next morning. I am still very much a spin class novice and I don't know how long it takes to fully become like engrossed in it but yeah it is now I don't know how to get it back on great um it is hard like I still struggle but that's good because you know it's a good workout then don't you but yeah even with this as soon as I get there I get my seat out because everyone's like really experienced there and I'm still like the newbie. I'm like, hey. As soon as I put my seat cover on, they're like, you won't need that soon. I'm like, I think I will. I think I will. And then the girl's best friend. You want something that is thick, squat proof, short, dark. For those times when it is time of the month and you are slightly conscious in case anything happens. You want a dark pair of shorts. These are fab. Now, I'm gutted because I don't think you can get them anymore. I got these from Primark last year. However, last time I did go in Primark, they did have similar styles to this, but in a blue, if I remember. However, go on Shein. If you haven't seen my latest hauls, the fashion try-on playlist, my lovelies, go and look at the Shein because I've picked up pairs on both of the hauls. Same quality as these. I got one in pink and blue, I believe. Squat-proof, good material, stretchy so flattering these are great this is what i need i am over the seamless shorts so you know i would have got the seamless shorts from gymshark those shorts because they are see-through unfortunately they are my chubrub shorts at the moment i have been looking at i think you sent me it's called chubrub shorts they're about 12 or 13 pound I am going to keep those maybe and do an order because they've got quite a few colours. And I was thinking maybe I could do like a little video testing them. I'm not entirely sure. So for now, Gymshark are my ones that like I put under my dresses or play suits, anything like that if I'm going out. Just to stop any potential chub rub. And yeah, I will have a look at the other brand. And who knows, could be another little video on that, my lovelies. Right. Oh! Actually... Let's go in. Where are we? Where are we? Music. Music, music, music. So if you all remember, last month, me and Mama G went to see the film Elvis. Wow. Need I say more? I absolutely blew and loved it. So of course, this month, I've been listening to Elvis non-stop again. I have been going through, I've been listening to 80s pop ballads, 80s rock, 80s power ballads, 2000s R&Bs, 2000 love songs. I've been having like a major throwback. I don't know why. I've just been having major throwbacks this month. And also a song that I've spoken about many a times before that will always seem to pop up on my flow, which is um on Deezer, you press flow and it literally just randomly selects any music that you've been playing or listening to and from your playlist. And this one will always come up at the right time. It'll always come up if, say, like I'm on a home stretch or I'm feeling a bit down. This song comes on and that's it, mood lifted. And that is Spirit in the Sky by Dr. Medics or Doctor and the Medics. I think it's Doctor and the Medics, the original. And as soon as I hear that beat start, I'm happy and I do want some of the lyrics tattooed on me because even though I love the song, it was actually one of my uncle's favourite songs as well who um, is no longer with us. So I thought I could get something like maybe a nice little few lyrics because it would resonate with him and I love the song. So yeah, who knows, eh? I am leaving it very late to get tattoos. I've realised this. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to have any big ones before my holiday. I am hopefully... If I can get a few more little ones, then absolutely fabulous. But I think like the big pieces that I was looking at, I'm probably going to have to wait until I come home because they say the timeline, I keep getting like between three to six weeks to let a tattoo heal. But I know even if I gave it six weeks, I would still be so scared to go in the sun and in the sea and that. So I don't want it to ruin my holiday so I'm thinking I might get a few little ones that could maybe take like a couple of weeks to heal and then I've got like say a month of the recovery process and then the bigger ones could maybe be for winter 
who knows but yeah absolutely love that and also for gym i have been listening to random workout playlists um i typed in on these are workout playlists and i don't know how some of these songs made it on a workout playlist some there is just no beat um some are very emotional i'm like oh that's for like when you're doing the weights and you just want to be like oh, like go through the pain but I like good beat songs, especially when I'm on the treadmill and I'm coming up to like a run. I have to have a beat that I can run to because otherwise I'm just like Bambi. I'm just running and I feel off. If I have a beat, I know what I've got to do to like, right, step, step, run, run, run. Like I have to have my feet to a beat. You get me? <laughs> but yeah, that is what I've been loving. A bit of Elvis, a bit of Spirit in the Sky and some workout playlists, my lovelies. Nothing new there, is it? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Trusty pad as always. I haven't got many pages left in this. I'm going to be gutted when I have to get rid of this. Because look at the front cover. It's the one that mum got me from Typo. I do love my notepads. But it's getting a little bit better than you've not got many uh, pages left, have you? Right. Let's do like homeware slash accessories slash a bit of everything and anything. So, my phone case this month I've absolutely been loving. So I picked this up from the phone case company and you see it says health is wealth. I loved this because it's got like self-care, money, parcels, winter. There's like winter dogs on there, a bath, horses, mountains. I just really liked it. And as I say, it was from the phone case company. I think I paid about six or seven pounds. It was in a sale. So I didn't think that was too bad. But yeah, it's a nice hard shell one. Goes all the way round absolutely love it so yes i did change my um phone case this month because i know the past few months i didn't did i i was a bit terrible on that but yeah i changed it this month and i highly recommend if it's still in the sale or even not i'll try and link it down below if it's still in stock for you all right my lovelies all right let's have a look ah card holders i never knew i was a card holder person until i got this one this, my lovelies, is a little Cavella card holder. It's just a plain white grain one, but I cannot tell you how good this is. You're probably thinking, Shan, it's literally just a card holder. But I'm used to taking bags everywhere, even though I do have a current favourite bag this month that I will be showing you. She's just sitting there. This is so handy. When I go to work and I literally like, I just want to pop to Tesco for me lunch or pop down to Subway don't want to be taking my big bag with me or if say i'm going shopping like into the next town i want to go into primark or anything like that i don't want to be oh sorry my lovelies breathe shannon nose is getting a bit bunged up hay fever hasn't been too bad this month let me know with the hot weather my hay fever's kind of dropped but i still feel a little bit sniffly i'm hoping i'm not getting a blooming cold um yeah I love this. You don't want to be walking around carrying a bag, carrying your car keys. This is great because I can put it in my packet, packet, pocket. If I know I'm going somewhere, I'll tend to take like a jacket or something with a little pocket that I can zip up, put this in, car keys in the other, and then I've got all my hands for the shopping. This, I believe, was in the sale, I'm going to say like £19. I really recommend. And now, whenever I go out, I'm like, oh, do I need another card holder? Mum's like, no. You're not going to start a collection of card holders now. I'm like, okay. Ruin my vibe there, Mum, you know? So the bag. The bag of this choice, my lovelies. Yeah? Mama G doing my dinner order. Because what is the time, actually? Oh, it's late. It's almost quarter past there. I've been waffling on for way too long. But... My DK and my, my little shoulder strap bag. So I love this because you can have it as a normal bag, but I like to have it as a crossbody. And I just love the colour. It's a perfect size for when I'm going out. Yes, I've got my little purse in there as well. And this is ideal as well. If I go out shopping and I don't want to be carrying it or anything like that, I literally just pop it around me and I haven't got to deal with it. This, unfortunately, I don't think would still be in stock because this is one of my babies that I've had many and many years to come i'm afraid but i'll have a look if i see anything similar i will let you know and another two things that i've got god these are as donkeys as donkeys as old as the donkeys i think that's the saying so obviously with the weather the way it's been i have been looking for some old flip flops but we all know i love comfort on my feet 
Mama G, I got her a substitute pair because she didn't want me buying her a proper pair and she hated the comfort. However, I have fallen back in love. These are very used and abused. Please ignore the toe marks. My Birkenstocks, my lovelies. I think these are called the Giza Thong. Not Giza as in all right, Giza. I mean, I think Giza like Giza in Egypt. I think probably going to be terrible. But I have a pink pair, obviously. I mean, come on, you girls got to always have pink. And then I've got a lovely blue pair. These have got so much wear out of. They are great, especially for driving. Um, I have been loving my Primark one pound flip flops, but the only thing with those, they're not exactly safe to drive in, which I've noticed. Like because there's no backing on them, my foot can sometimes like slip. So I much prefer them because obviously they're safer to drive in and just a lot more comfortable to walk in. I think next year I might invest in another pair, potentially black or white. Like a more neutral pair because they're very like jazzy and sometimes it can mess up an outfit that I want to wear because they are so loud and bright. So yeah, I think I might get another neutral pair next year. Maybe just the ones that go across the front as opposed to that style. Who knows? Who knows indeed. Now, <laughs> you will notice my big fan has gone. It is still warm, but it's not warm enough for a big fan. So that has gone. But of course, I did love my big fan throughout this month. And I've also been loving this little one, which is out of charge. I need to charge this baby up. This is what I picked up off Amazon. I think it was like last year. Best investment ever. I think it was like £12. If you go on Amazon and just type in handheld USB fan, these come up all different styles, all different colours so so great my one come with a little stand which is great so you can just pop it on the side and be done with it but yeah i actually need to charge this because as you can see i'm pressing it and i'm just getting flashy lights telling me that it's gone it's gone 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 it's all used up and then i'm going to include this in my favorites because as i say this month i've had a lot of like I don't know, like reflection and I've been like reminiscing and everything. So if you watch my birthday vlog, you will know I got a few new pop figures. So mum and dad got me a Beauty and the Beast one, which I still need to put in my cabinet. But I just can't get to my cabinet yet and I just can't, I can't be bothered to move everything to be perfectly honest. So when I do like a big clear out and that, I'll get in there and I'll pop them in. But you would have seen on my birthday vlog that... B popped around with a few presents, obviously. Very kind of him with the situation, the way things were. Wasn't expecting. And, yeah, it was... It was not upsetting, but, yeah, it was. Because I cried my eyes out, didn't I? If you saw the vlog, you know what I'm talking about. And he got me this figurine, which is something that he tried to get me last Christmas. And it was, like, sold out everywhere. And when I saw it, I did get upset. That was one of the things when I saw him, because it was just like, it's not like it's just a reminder, but it's a happy reminder. Um, and I haven't wanted to put it in my cabinet. So it is a little pop figure of Dwight Schrute. Now, if you know anything from monthly favourites or any vlogs, I say you never would have really seen me, but I would have said, oh, we're watching The Office USA. And that was kind of what we used to watch, just like background noise. Kind of like Big Bang Theory, but we used to love that. And I have been keeping this little guy very prominent on my dressing table. I don't want to put him away like it's a... You know when things are kind of like bittersweet sometimes, but I just think it's nice. There's good memories there. However, if someone was to say to me now, should we watch The Office USA? I can't. It Does anyone else get it? It's like... Say if you've watched something with a partner or an ex and then things don't work out and someone says, oh, let's watch this film or watch that and you just can't because you have that, it sounds so silly, but like an emotional attachment to that program and I don't know why what it is like, I don't, as much as I love the film, Shrek, I haven't watched Shrek since beginning of the year, since we split up um, and I don't feel like in the mood of watching it like some nights if I'm in like a bit of a mood I just think yeah put on Shrek it'll make me like happy and laugh and I can't now 
isn't it weird how you get like an emotional attachment to a film or a series because of a person and then whatever happens, whatever that may be, you then can't watch it because you're just reminded of the memories with that film or series, if anyone understands me. Yeah. So um, I won't be watching any more of this little guy, but it is very curious. It is very bit sweet. It's the last thing he got me, but kind of probably the best thing because that was really nice. And I'm going to have a drink because you know when you feel you have a huge lump in your throat? And this is what I mean. It's very reminiscent. Reminiscence can be very emotional sometimes. I'm sick of being emotional. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, yes. See, whoever says time is a healer is lying. Because there ain't no healing in this time. Right, my lovelies. Come on, Shannon Lee. Bit of bath care. Now, I've been loving a headband when I'm in the bath lately. Like a proper pamper. And I think this again was from Shein. Oh my god. Now, I have a feeling that this was the one that I showed you last month because this is all I've been wearing. I've ditched my yellow and black polka dot ones and I just love this. It kind of makes me feel like a 1920s housewife and I just love it. I absolutely love it. So majority of the time you will find me in the bath with this around my head. Loving life, watching something on the laptop on the bath where I can just chill in back. Chilling back, chilling back. Now this is an essential and I was very, very lucky that they very kindly sent me a little um, package out of some of their new and classic bits. So they sent me some talc, they sent me some sprays and then some new bits of their soothing wash. And that, my lovelies, is the brand Femme Fresh. Now we're all friends here. This is what you need. This is what you need to keep everything fresh and dandy. It is, what is it? I can't remember the proper word. Not hyperallergenic, but... It's very like for sensitive skin, which is good. You don't want nothing that's going to irritate you. You just want a nice, soothing, clean wash. And that is what, that is why I love Femfresh. I will always use them, always have, always will. And I say, yeah, I was very, very um happy when they reached out and said, oh, we'd like to send you something. I was like, thank you. And this, not a lot left. And I've probably gone through about three or four boxes. Radox Muscle Soak. So as I say, for those days where I do push myself a little bit harder or when I go to spin class and I have my five mile walk, my feet and knees ache like a biatch, okay? They ache. So this, very, very handy. Um, the last lot I had to pick up was in Superdrug and I think it was like 2 20 a box. I get it in the bargain shops for a pound, so I definitely need to do a stock up. When I'm next there, because I'm not about paying those prices, let me tell you that. That's daylight robbery. Okay, I can get two for one. And then now, if you saw this when I moved it down then, I'm like, don't judge. Please don't judge me now. I, I know we've been in a heat wave, but I think as we're nearing autumn now, I'm maybe watching some autumnal content, maybe re-watching some Christmas content. And so, for my baths... Your girl's been using a snow fairy. I mean, like, come on. This is just heaven, okay? I've probably got about half left, which, best believe, will be on its way out before Christmas comes, and then you can just guarantee I'm going to have a stock up, ain't I? But, yeah, snow fairy. Don't say to me, it's too early. It probably is too early, but I don't care. If I could, I'd have a Christmas tree up all year round. You know me. Christmas tree with loads of pumpkins. Your girl's happy to go, all right? I'll maybe chuck in a few springer, springer, springtime gonks and Easter gonks. I would just like my house, like, whenever I move out, every room to be a different season all year round and just not have to change it. Just, like, lift yourself up and go to each of the rooms for, say, three months at a time of the year. Wouldn't that be fabulous? I'd love that. Blooming love that. Right. Now... I haven't really got much makeup in that because to be honest, my love is I haven't been wearing it. So we will go with on terms of maybe like skincare. Because we have got quite a bit of skincare, okay? Actually, we've got quite a bit of skincare. 
surprise so gonna start with the basics my cellar water this has been a godsend okay going through quite a lot of this at the moment i really want to try and get my hands on the citrus one that is what i'm eyeing up next and you've seen these many a times the deep action pore cleansing pads these are from super drug buy one get one half price they're normally four pound each you get two for six how many pads do you get in there roughly 40 i've been using these forever and a day i'm probably talking well over a decade now the packaging's never changed the formula's never changed the size has never changed highly recommend if you want something where say for example in the morning you normally just do a quick uh, little wipe if you don't use micellar water or anything i would recommend them because they are still gentle but they are an exfoliant and some of the stuff that comes off my face in the mornings even after i cleanse at night i'm like ew 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 but it's good to get it off eh and then my mouthwash you're probably thinking what random thing my mouthwash of choice my lovelies this month is colgate plex white and charcoal you get your whitening toothpaste vibes all in one and it's a charcoal nothing much more to say about that but yeah i have been uh loving it's all sticky where it's all gone round the sides blooming fantastic have been loving a bit of mouthwash lately i can tell you that right what i've been loving and not loving i with my knees have realized this month that my knees are not actually that strong my well they are but they're not when i do a heavy leg session my knees are obliterated for about three to four days after and i don't know why i don't know if it's just my joints are not quite there i am going to look into like knee supports like joint things that i can just pull over i think they're like compression sleeves so that it kind of takes a bit of the pressure off when i'm doing the exercises i started off buying deep heat spray i couldn't do with that because it was going everywhere then i bought deep heat gel and that stuff is expensive i tell you expensive so i found kind of like a substitute and it is an ibuprofen gel and this was only from panland so it's not miracle workers but it is all right it's not too bad and it just comes like this and i think for a quid you can't really go wrong you actually can't go wrong i've already gone through a tube of it and it's not too bad a pan's a pound all right i mean i'm not here about paying almost five pound for a tub of dp like the cans and i think the gel is about 354 quid i'm gonna say not about that this what i do is if i know i'm having a heavy leg session i cover all my knees in it um before i go to bed and then what i'll do is when i wake up in the morning i'll put another layer on and then obviously i'll go to work and do the gym and everything like that and then when i come home of an evening i will slather my knees in it they are getting slightly better but i don't know what it is they just it's just aches i think it's where like i'm still getting into it i mean i've just gone i want to say we've just gone past the four and a half months of me being like back into the gym and i'm still aching still learning but i mean it means it's working eh well fingers crossed fingers crossed it's working and then my lovely skincare as well well this isn't skincare but you know what these are you will know me forever and a day spectacle and lens wipes a pack of a hundred i think from pretty much any of the bargaining shops b&m home bargain savers panland absolute godsend i will go through sometimes three to four of these a day you need to keep the old spectacles clean don't you as i say i still don't know what i'm doing on that front so until then i want to keep me older glasses clean and i've been really loving a facial roller this month i think where it has been so hot it's been so nice to like just put your moisturizer or your serum on and just do this and get almost like a cooling facial massage you know absolutely love it and the product that i've been using with this which i'm absolutely gutted about because i know i'm gonna have to repurchase this is the charlotte's magic serum crystal elixir now this was part of the little set that i picked up when we went to buy sister last year when the shops first opened after c that will be in my blog playlist if you love shopping i went to all three outlets over in kent and essex side you're not going to want to miss it head over and look that out because that was so so good this i think is quite expensive i haven't yet looked at the full price of this because i'm kind of scared but i'm probably down to like under a quarter now this is just fabulous it gives such a sheen it makes you look brighter it makes you look fresher 
and I absolutely love it. I have been pretty much using this on a daily basis. Three little pipettes on my face, I'm good to go. Actually, not every day. I don't wear it on weekends. Monday to Friday for work, I have been, as I say, because where it has been hot and everything like that, just want my face to look a little bit more glowy and not so, like, dried out, you know? But, yeah, I think I need to repurchase this. Don't quite know how much it's going to cost. Is it going to break my bank? Probably. Absolutely. Don't we just know that? And then, my lovelies, we are going to round it out on perfumes and very minimal bit of makeup that I've been wearing. So, perfumes gone back to a few old classics um i think it's just because it's comfort it's what i know um and that is the ck one shock for her and emporio armani diamonds but i can't remember kind of what this diamonds is i feel like it's a summer edition because it's not the original it's not the original bottle because it's got the blue color in so i feel like it's a summer edition which i'm gonna say i don't think you can probably get now because this is like donkey's years old, like so is this. But this is such a classic. Every time I spray this, I'm like, this sometimes I even chuck in my gym bag. Just because it is kind of like that fresh, I don't know. How do you? Yeah, it's very fresh. A very fresh scent to which absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, they are my two. Would you believe, right? Here's a little update. Remember the Jean-Paul Gaultier? You know they still haven't sorted that out. So I still have a full bottle of perfume that I can't use because the bottle's broken. Jean-Paul Gaultier Direct are not responding to any emails. I'm trying to get my money back, but because they're not responding to the card company, they can't close the dispute. So that was bought when for my birthday, so May, and we're at the end of the July. And I'm still, well, not me, mum bless her, it's still almost £100 out of pocket. Do not ever buy from Jean-Paul Gaultier Directs, my lovelies. Go to Perfume Shop or Fragrance Shop. Honestly, would not recommend them at all. And then pretty much the only things I've been putting on my face is a tinted day cream moisturiser. This is SPF 15. It's in light skin tone, right? But my lovelies, this is still dark on me. I still have to mix it with like some moisturising milk or the little bit of my Clinique Pep Stock because it's still dark. Like, I will have that tired mark if I just put this on plain. Like, no, I can't. I have to mix moisturiser in with this. But it is really good. It does just give you a nice little tint. And then pretty much, I've just been wearing lip products. And my combo, I think I've shown this many times before, but it's a classic, is the Matte Lipstick Liner in Sandstorm. But I've been pairing it with the Natural Gloss. I have been loving the natural gloss look at the moment, as I say, because I think where it's been summery and hot, I don't want like a matte lipstick on, I quite like a nice buttery gloss. And that is what I've been doing. And my lovelies, my bed is covered. There's a bag of open Skittles. So um, I think that would be time to say that the monthly favourites is done. So can you believe we've only got one more monthly favourites before we start seeing autumnal bits in there? August monthly favourites. Oh, they're just going to be everything and anything summer related. I just know it. All like the watermelon, the bright colours, the fresh scents. I am just so shocked at how quick this year is going already, my lovelies. It is scary. Time is flying and I don't like it. I think next year I'm 28, then I'm two years time, 30. Like, oh my goodness, where is the time going? I remember like that when I was 21 in Mexico. Like, it is so scary, honestly. Starts all my death anxiety off and it's just, it's, it's not a good circle, you know? It's not a good circle. But, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit out of this month's monthly favourites? What have you been watching on Netflix or Disney Plus or Discovery? Any brands that you think I should try? Anything at all to do with the gym you think I could try? Any snacks? Any snacks you think I should try? And, um, yeah. I don't quite know what's to say. I am very hungry. So, no doubt in a moment, Mum will come in and be like, Dinner's ready. I'm just having a very like 90s dinner i think why well, i say 90s we're just literally using the bits up in the freezer i've got some fish cakes and some waffles quick and easy good to go fills a hole gives me some food and i might even uh have my last vanilla pudding eh? all washed down 
with me can of sparkling water. Anyway, I'm not going to rib it rabbit. I do hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall see you tomorrow with a highly requested video, whether it will be a tipsy edition or not. Who knows? But yes, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye! Ooh.